Good morning, fellas. Windy City Bassin here. Today we are out. We're going to be throwing some swim baits at a local pond I haven't been to in about a month or so. I've got two Huddlestons tied on, also a Senko. Looks pretty good. I think there's a dead goose in here. I think that's a dead goose. I haven't been out here in a while. All the weeds are dead. Oh, that was, that was a bite. That fish missed it. He hit it. There's another hit. There we go. Oh, yes. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. There's one on the HUD. Early this morning, it's only three, four casts in. Feeling pretty good now. All right, got that one on the hood. Oh man, you're mean. All right, that's a good start. Let's switch it up to the bluegill hood for right now. See if that creates any uh, any different excitement here. That last fish was just munching on it. I waited on setting that hook. I mean, it, I couldn't tell whether he still had it or not. I kept feeling bite, 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 but I couldn't I couldn't tell if he had it because I set the hook on the cast earlier and he, he didn't have it all the way. So that one, I wanted to make sure he had it. And after like the fifth bump, I was just like, there's no way this isn't in this fish's mouth. I actually thought I would have had a couple of bites by now, especially once I switched up to the bluegill. The bluegill has, has killed it in this lake before. I'm just crawling it along, slow reeling, super, super easy. Oh, that's a bite. Oh, nope, I missed him. Missed him. Oh, no, he hit it again. Dang it. You know, another thing too, I think a lot of people are scared, especially in like the Midwest, you know, I'm in Illinois, are scared to throw big swim baits. I mean, I've caught plenty of one, two pounders on pretty big swim baits. I and mean, this is a, what is it a five or a six inch HUD? I think I'm gonna move in a minute. This for sure is a dead goose in the water. And the plan for today, is actually not to be here very long. I want to just kind of hop from pond to pond. Oh, I just spooked something in front of me. Oh, I just... Oh, I just lost my... Oh, did you see that wake? He probably didn't see that wake. Dang. That was a, that was a good bite. Dang. Oh, there's a... Got him. Got him. He's running. He's running. Oh, it's a big one. Oh my God. It's a big one. Oh my gosh. Yes. <laughs> Look at that. Oh. That's a good fish. Oh my gosh. I don't even. This is going to be hard to get. No, it's, that should be fine. Oh my God. Do you see that? I mean, this thing is. Choked. <laughs> Holy cow, that is in there good. There we go. Oh, that is a pretty solid fish right there. Whew. That was a nice one. Choked it. That's why you throw big swim baits. They can catch big fish. That's that's one of the bigger fish in this lake, for sure. That's two fish on this bigger Huddleston bass colored trout I'm looking for a seven pounder is that too much to ask seven pounds that guys didn't go at all where i want that's another thing <laughs> you gotta be prepared for when you're throwing bigger swim baits is your precision casting is gone these baits are so big that they just catch air and 
you're lucky if you throw in the vicinity of where you wanted. I could stay here all morning, but I got a bunch of other ponds I kind of want to hit up. This is just going to be a random pond hopping day. Good start to the morning though. We got two nice swim bait fish here in Illinois on a six inch bass colored Huddleston trout. All right, fellas, pond number two. And I have not been here in ugh, easily two months. I have never thrown swim bait in this lake. I don't know if this is stupid or what, but. Oh God. I just got hit the first cast. Hmm. This is just so weird. That first cast, I get a bite and nothing since. Now I think this lake might be a bust. Oh no, oh no, I lost him. We're done, we're done, we're done. Water is really clear, really clear. Oh, I just got cranked. Oh, you let go. Dang it, I was just about to set the hook. Oh my God, huge bass. I just watched him hit it. Oh my goodness. I don't know how he missed it. I literally watched him hit it. He's probably maybe 15 feet in front of me. That was actually really cool. That one on the Ooh, nice fish. That's a good one. You wanna be on YouTube? Sure. All right, well, it might be a little while. Nice fish, what's your name? Adrian. Adrian, on a popper? Yeah. Sweet, all right, nice fish. What's your channel? Windy City Bassin. All right. All right, look for it. Might be a little bit, but that's a good one. All right, let's get back to swim bait fishing. This is an absolute ton of scum in the water. It's crazy. But, oh, yep. Right there. Oh no, he just came off. Oh my God. Dang it. How did I miss him? All right, guys. Well, I turned the camera off. I came back over here to this side and uh, got absolutely smashed by this over three pounder. Really interesting marks. I mean, you got black spot on the tail, black spot on this side, multiple black spots. I mean, look at this black tail. That's really crazy. That's a that's a solid fish. And it's not skinny like the other pond. This is definitely, definitely pushing three, three and a half at least. Whew. All right. Wow. So I came back right here. I actually made a terrible cast. Landed literally right on the concrete and right in here. This fish just smoked it. But guys, if anything, this proves, proves to all you Illinois people out there, Midwest people, you don't need to throw small baits. In fact, I would argue against it now. I've been throwing swim baits now so much more than I used to because I'm starting to get a comfort level with them, which takes a little while. But once you get some comfort with them and understand what they do, how to fish them, which I am by no means an expert at all, once you get that comfort level, I mean, I always have one tied on now. All right, I'm good to go. Let's go to the next lake. Final lake, it's the last lake of the day. This lake is very, very blue, unnaturally blue. These are tire tracks into the water and I can see a bunch of like holes right there where it looks like they dump something. Danger, poison, 
sulfuric acid. What the heck is that? And why are they dumping it in this lake? Seriously, tempted to uh, call someone. I don't know who you call, but... Okay, guys. I'm sorry. I would have loved to end with a fish, but that's going to have to wrap this day up. Because it's getting late. I'm get you going. We got other things to do today, unfortunately. I'd love to fish all day, but can't do it. So, guys, if you have any questions about swim bait fishing, definitely leave a comment below. It's something that I'm not exactly an expert in, but if you want some novice tips and techniques and maybe baits to start with and rods to throw it on and all that kind of good stuff, just leave a comment. Let me know. I, I really, really am enjoying learning the whole swim bait game and I only plan to expand that further next year. So I appreciate you watching. This is Windy City Bassin. Signing out.